Hi folks, this is Amanda from the Say No 7, just with a Monday night update about what's going on with the bill. Today, Tony Burke, uh, Leader of the House, uh, made a statement regarding the cashless debit card that it would be tomorrow, the debate would start. Um, he has expressed a willingness to make it an urgent bill, given that it is time sensitive, now that the date of 2000, uh, sorry, September 19th has been declared, um, that there are economic issues involved for cardholders should this bill be delayed in the House and not go to Senate for the next sitting. Um, it has to pass before the 19th of September, which is the abolition date. So we have already hit yesterday, 1st of August, we hit closure date. Okay, now closure day means that no more people can be put on the card as of now because 100 people, because of the automated system, 100 people a day were being added to the card. So one of our four demands to the ALP when we got Rancy a couple of weeks ago was that they stop that from happening and they have done that. So August yesterday, that stopped. No more people can be added to the card from today. Um, automated systems are switched off. But uh, today, 2nd of August, they we thought the debate would come up today, at least this evening or this afternoon. But we forgot about the Jenkins report. And the Jenkins report provisions means that Parliament now pretty much closes at 6.30. Or the votes and a quorum, which is the number of members needed to have a vote, stops at 6.30. And that's so working parents can get home in a reasonable hour, working members of parliament and we support that but what it does it shortens the time for debate it means debate has to happen in the house during working hours not till after midnight like the last senate debate it did in 2020 um, so basically if the bill looks like having a lot of speakers who want to speak um, Tony Burke may declare the bill urgent now there's a lot of controversy over the urgency measure but in this case given the time sensitivity we actually support the urgent measure being being applied to this bill. Now, what happens is if it is declared urgent, then Parliament will debate on whether it is or not and agree or disagree. If it disagrees, then it's very likely that Tony Burke will simply ask the question be called, which um, means that the, all debate will be cut off and the House, the vote will take place then and there because uh, we can't afford this bill not to pass. Um, Labor can't afford if they're to do the things that they're going to do, um, like the changes to the dates and all of this thing. But this was almost, this was something that was surprising actually, that Tony expressed the economic needs of cardholders. And um, it's actually good to see, I can see a smile on my face because it was really good to see that he put the needs of cardholders equal to the needs of the Parliament you know, um, right up there. It was, uh, you know, the needs to pass the bill, but then there was the need why we had to need. And in that why, he stated that, you know, there were economic after people have afterpays and things like that. And I just want to read what I wrote on Twitter today so it's easier. I said, it's not just afterpay either, Mr. Burke, it's rents, it's home loans, it's mortgages, childcare and medical bills. It is hundreds of thousands of dollars in debts and notices and late fees that you know could risk people becoming homeless if this bill does not progress and these are costs that will be borne because there is no redress these are costs that will be borne by people living in poverty already who have been forced onto this card and they simply cannot afford it it's clear that the bill won't progress today okay though we're confident that it will pass the house tomorrow and then it will pass for the senate on September 5th. So, it, you know, it, it, the September 5th calendar is four days. All right. And now if the opposition want to drag this out, then it will appear at any given time over that four days. So we will have to update you uh, when that is going to a vote. And the only way to really be on the money when it's going for a vote is actually to be on our Twitter feed. So uh, our Twitter feed is at the say no with the numeral seven. And that's where you can keep up because that's where I'll be posting first. And then we disseminate that information to the Facebook pages and then we'll come here. So that's that's where things are at and um you know it's funny I made the made the joke you know we'll be first cab off the rank on September 5th and and it was a difficult thing because cabs are actually banned merchants on the cash of separate card so I said okay well I'll change that to first horse out of the gate but showgrounds are a banned banned venue for people on the card we're really 
cardholders have been so excluded in so many so many ways from society that you know the coming back to freedom the coming back to life is something I can't wait to see their faces I can't wait to see the joy and we've already seen one or two of our members have their freedom restored and to feel that expression of joy on a mass scale is going to be something really worth watching um in the meantime, we're preparing our statements for media, both if the bill passes and if it doesn't. Um, you know, we have we're engaging with media contacts. Kathy's been in on radio and media, but there was an article out today. I would like to point you all to. It's on the ABC. Um, ABC Perth. It is an art. It's an automat. It's an audio podcast. It's called Life on the Cashless Debit Card. Okay, by Nadia um, from from Nadia actually did that interview, and it's Christine's story. And I would really like you at this point to go and go and Google that. Uh, it's on the ABC Perth webpage. Uh, it starts with the new federal government's move to scrap the cashless debit card. So, um, but the title is Life on the Cashless Debit Card. If you could do me a solid and go and listen, please, to Christine's story. Um, she, it was a brilliant interview, one of the best we've seen from ABC because ABC have been really horrible to us over the years, just as they were during the intervention. So please go and look at that article. And I'll see you tomorrow night after the debate for a rundown on who said what. But um Today, uh, it was really deplorable that after Tony spoke, uh, Paul Fletcher stood up and were, was trying to score political points about ALP using the urgent measures motion. And, and just as I said here that, you know, it's such a shame that in continued elitism and ignorance to the realities and the needs of people living on the cashless debit card, Paul Fletcher does not even consider it acceptable for a time-limited bill to ensure people's economic security be called urgent. He doesn't care that cardholders are going to face thousands of dollars of debt. He doesn't care that that will put them further behind, will leave kids without priority needs, will leave families without being able to pay bills for a longer period of time. He doesn't care. They just simply don't care. You know, so it's, um, you know, they haven't learned a damn thing from the election, which is very, very clear right now. And uh, But I'm going to close this off now and I'm going to hand over to Kathy, who no doubt will probably live on this later on. Uh, and I will be back after tomorrow night. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate your, all your follows and things. And I'll do story times, a lot of story times after this is over. Okay, take care, guys. <laughs>